the path to becoming Canadian can be a little slippery. But these kids are getting a helping hand. And a crash course on how to play Canada's game. All in the name of helping new Canadians develop a better sense of belonging. Moazine Hisham started hockey for youth four years ago. My parents came to Canada in 1972 from Uganda and I was born in Vancouver. Uh, I was given my first set of hockey equipment by our neighbour who still lives across the street from my mum. And they said you should put your youngest son into hockey and my parents obliged and it gave me an opportunity to feel socially included. We're also going to do some turning today. He's now extending that opportunity to hundreds of other kids from 30 countries who also just want to belong. What you want to do is make sure you put more of an emphasis on your rotating your ankle. So if you Keelan Farron volunteers with Hockey for Youth. I grew up kind of part Indian and part Scottish. There you go, and then you cross over just like that. Yeah. But it's hockey that has played a key part in Farron's Canadian identity. Definitely, I think of like winter days where you kind of go on the pond in the backyard. You're kind of just always outside in the snow and skating. I think hockey is just something that I see myself as when I say, I'm Keelan, I'm a hockey player. Are you excited? Farron and the rest of the Ryerson Rams women's hockey team provide a steady hand to guide the kids. Yeah, I did the whole thing without falling. the whole thing. Hockey belongs to everyone. It's not just people who can know how to play the sport, but people who want to watch a sport, who maybe want to get involved in the sport. I think it just extends further than just playing the game and just growing, it to, growing to love the game. <laughs> You're ready. And it appears to be working. Gaurav Akram is from India, where field hockey is big, ice hockey, not so much. Skating on ice as well. But he's learning. In the future, also a chance to play hockey, I like join it. You want them tighter? Just let me know. Cool? And that's exactly what Moazine yeah. Hisham wants to hear. It's pretty emotional in a positive way. I think about the kids who, um, you know, some of, the, some of the things that they've gone through. Um, but every time they're out on the ice, you get to see those smiles. You, when they fall for the first time, it's amazing to see them get back up. And that's what we talk about all the time is when you fall, you get back up and you try again. Hey, buddy. And for Hashem, this program is deeply personal. For me, I always tell my mom and my dad that it's, it's kind of a full circle experience in terms of they put me into hockey and now I'm using the game to give back. There you go. And as the program expands into a third city, it's a gift that keeps on giving the gift of hockey and belonging. Okay, so all the way, follow me, follow me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.